What's going on everybody? I'm Ryan, welcome back to Miller's in Motion. We are still in Orlando in the Walt Disney World Resort. And today, it's kind of chilly and I'm hiding behind a wall so that there's not as much wind. We are gonna go explore Epcot. So a couple things about Epcot. It actually was initially started by Walt Disney and it was uh, the acronym for it was the Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. It was meant to be more of a community than it was a park. It obviously turned into a park, which is fine. It's, it's one of my favorite personally. Um, so a couple things about it, it opened October 1st, 1982, uh, and right now it's actually undergoing some major renovations, which we'll kind of go over and look at. And when you start to see all construction walls out there, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Right now the current lands are Future World and World Showcase. Uh, World Showcase being where all the country pavilions are and Future World being most of the rides. And the new lands, once it's done, is going to be the World of Celebration, the World of Discovery, World of Nature, and World Showcase will stay the same. So all kinds of new stuff like the Play Pavilion app where the old, old Wonders of Life pavilion was, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind where the old Ellen's Energy Venture was, um, Journey of Water which is like a living water thing, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, Mary Poppins area, there's a lot. We're going to have some fun with what is open here today and go ride some rides. So the very first ride we're going to go do is actually my favorite from when I was a kid. It's uh, Spaceship Earth or the Big Golf Ball, however you want to put it. So let's go ride it. And there's Goofy. <laughs> building they have a preview of what the new Epcot will look like so we're gonna go hop in there and kind of take a look for a little bit As the day fades and dusk turns to night, Epcot comes to life in a global celebration of Disney music. So it looks like Frozen Ever Ash only has about a 35 minute wait, so let's go ride that real quick because I've never done it since it was Maelstrom. Let's give it a try.
So the next country over is actually Norway. So Mexico and Norway are the only two countries that actually have rides in them. The Grand Fiesta Tour in Mexico. And originally the Maelstrom here in Norway, which is one of my favorite rides. Uh, it has since been replaced with Frozen Ever After, given that that whole movie was kind of based around Norwegian culture. Yeah, it's got a 50 minute wait. So China's really comprised of restaurants and they have a circle, a 3D, a circle vision show called Reflections in China that they actually just got, they are in the process of redoing right now. All right, well, my gimbal just died. So we're going handheld the rest of the night. So if it's a little shaky, I am sorry. Um, but we're about halfway around World Showcase, so we're gonna keep going and hopefully it'll charge in my backpack on the battery bank for a little bit. So the smells coming out of that Werther's Caramel Shop over there are insanely good, insanely good. So after Germany, we're coming into one of my favorite pavilions, which is Italy. So next up is the America Pavilion, which they have a new smokehouse coming and it's pretty much America. So in the American Pavilion, there's something called the American Adventure, which is just a show, essentially. And that's what you're going to do if you're here just regular. So leaving America and keep on crossing, you're almost directly across now from that America is actually directly across the spaceship Earth, so we're halfway through it. But here in Japan, they have a hibachi-style restaurant that I've tried. It's really, really good, um, as well as a sit-down, plus a store with a bunch of authentic stuff. We're actually going to go look around in all of it right now. So upstairs of that building is where both those restaurants are. The hibachi would be on the far side and the regular dining would be closer to us. On the ground floor of it is that store we need to check out. So Morocco is really one of the otter countries to me. I haven't spent as much time there as I probably should have, but it's super, super interesting to me. So we're gonna go hang out there for a little bit and see if we can't figure it out. So after Morocco is France, and I actually am going to eat at um, Chef de France tonight because why not? I wish Lauren was here to share this dinner with me, but she's not, so it doesn't mean I shouldn't eat. So France has a little bakery in the back. They've got a perfumery, um, some other stuff kind of along those lines. They also have Chef de France where I am gonna eat dinner later. So uh, one cool thing about Epcot is they have something called a college development program too. So uh, all the people working in these different countries are actually from those countries, which is really, really cool. Also coming to France is they're getting a new Ratatouille ride, given that it's based in France. So um, I'm not sure when that opens. If, if I find out, I'll put it down here somewhere on the, on the screen. But, um, but yeah, so it's gonna be the third country to have a ride. So Canada is our last country in our walk around here. Um, it's pretty cool. They have another 360 vision that's being redone. Other than that, uh, one of the best steakhouses on property is here, uh, La Cellier. And then they also have the mill stage, so they have a live band that plays us from Canada occasionally. So. Surprised it's not lit up better, but anyway, the 360 vision things back there, the silly A's back there.
to be a living blueprint of the future. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video about Epcot here at Walt Disney World in Orlando. I'm looking forward to the next series. Anyway, we'll talk to you real soon. Make sure to like and subscribe and have a great week. We'll see you in the next video.